I hope most tennis fans were able to tune into yesterday's match with Djokovic and Alcaraz. And for those that didn't, I really encourage you to go watch this again. This is going to be my recap, but more so for junior players, junior parents, junior coaches, because there's so much to learn from that match. But there's one thing that really stood out for me that I think that I, I, I discussed this already when I was on the court this morning. I want to discuss it with all of you. Uh, that they're trying to learn and see what's going on because the biggest question I always get from a parents and, and, and their players is just like trying to win the big points. How can I do better there? Oh my gosh, like I, you know, I always have a chance and then I blow that, blah, 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 this and that, you know, but it, everybody deals with it. And why do I bring it up today? It's because of what happened yesterday. So you had Alcaraz up a set 4-2. And just plays three horrible games out of nowhere. Djokovic was totally out of it, tired, exhausted. The heat was tough. And just Alcaraz lost his focus. Boom. And right there just allows Djokovic to come back in the match. But what happens after that? Alcaraz doesn't totally fall apart. Gets it to a tie break and gave himself a chance with match point. Didn't convert, but that's just the way it is. The most important thing is he didn't go away. So Djokovic in the third set. Match point at 5-3. Alcaraz has an incredible save. Djokovic then serves for the match. And guess what? Arguably the greatest tennis player ever. The most Grand Slams tied right now. I mean, it, he got tight. Out of all people right now, you would think that Alcaraz, the younger guy, that he would be the one to get tight with the, least, less amount, with the least amount of experience. Okay, Novak there, serving for the match. All these titles, won everything. He got tight, hit a double fault at one point with 65 mile an hour per hour second serve in the middle of the net. Missed an overhead on break point where just barely, just barely hit it, pushed it wide. I just, if you watch that game unfold, you're like, what is going on? Alcaraz was the one that started to swing away and move around and playing a little bit more fearless. Alcaraz and attacking and coming in on second serve returns and, and really just trying to go for it. And so here it is. You know, you have both players in huge opportunities, in a huge match, big leads, serving. One just plays bad, loses focus. The other one legitimately just got tight. Both guys, what did they do? They regrouped, okay? That's the biggest takeaway, all right? Djokovic obviously coming back to win the match after. Is this, this happens to everybody. Alcaraz, number one in the world, loses his focus in a big match. Djokovic, number two in the world, but arguably the greatest tennis player ever, serving for the match, has match points, getting tight, getting nervous. This happens to everybody. So, yes, we want to try to do our best to not let it happen. Yes, we want to prevent it from happening, but it's going to happen, and you have to be ready. The best thing that these guys did, and that's why it was such a great match, is you know, can you limit your downside when things go wrong? Can you just prevent it from going too far against you can you regroup can you stay focused can you steady the ship and keep going and both guys did that and that's why both those sets ended up going to tie breaks someone obviously had to lose but so important for juniors to 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 learn that and parents who sometimes freak out a little bit too much because their kid blew a lead it happens it's more about how you react and can you prevent it from going too far can you limit the downside okay both players had moments in the match where they did not play their best tennis, but yet they came back and then played better tennis when it counted at the right times. So don't it, look if it happens. How do you react? How do you control yourself? How do you steady the mind, steady the ship, and how do you keep going? That's what the, that's what really made that match so amazing to me yesterday, and that made it for such a great final because Djokovic could have easily gone away and said, I'll just get ready for the U.S. Open. Alcaraz could have said the same thing. It's been a good week for me. I'm still number one in the world. You know what? I'm doing great for 19. Oh, darn. And, and just move on and lose that third set. Both guys kept fighting. Both guys just kept, you know going after it even though things you know they they, they lost some tough point some tough points very emotional points very emotional moments in bad ways it didn't affect them too much they came right back so you know please take that away it's how you react to when things go bad it's not oh it should never happen because it will but what will you do when it does to you